A rumored Planet Nine sounds like a fascinating topic, right? We had previously thought Pluto was the ninth planet before it was declared a dwarf planet. So, where is this rumored ninth planet? At the International Astronomical Union meeting or the IAU in 2006, a professor of astrophysics named Rowan Robinson at Imperial College London, participated in the discussion on whether Pluto should still be regarded as a planet. He was prepared to disrupt the solar system once more with a rumored ninth planet. Rowan Robinson recently claimed to have discovered the fictitious planet Nine after looking over 38-year-old data. Although the most recent claim is not a definitive detection, it helps to focus the search for this far-off and enigmatic planet by limiting the area of the sky where to seek. Planet Nine, what is it? The existence of a ninth planet with a far-off orbit around the Sun has been the subject of debate in planetary science. A pair of scientists from the California Institute of Technol, or short Caltech, proposed that a planet roughly the size of Neptune orbits our Sun in a greatly elongated orbit that is located well beyond Pluto on January 2015, sparking the first mention of Planet Nine. Instead of using observation, they based their argument on mathematical modeling and computer simulations. These two postulates that a ninth planet, beyond Neptune's orbit, is exerting a gravitational pull on a group of frozen objects in the Kuiper belt. These tiny particles have elongated orbits that resemble one large object and have similar features. According to the theory, the planet is around 10 times as massive as Earth and orbits the Sun at a distance that is 20 times greater than that of Neptune, which is the furthest and the eighth planet from the Sun. NASA has estimated that it may take Planet Nine somewhere between 10,000 to 20,000 years on Earth to complete one revolution. Rowan Robinson said that it was a pretty strange item, so, it would have to be something that was maybe acquired from outside the solar system. What's new, Rowan Robinson wants to uncover Planet Nine, but he won't have to back too far into its history. In 1983, the astronomer worked on the Infrared Astronomical Satellite, or in short the IRAS project, the first telescope in orbit to study the whole night sky at infrared wavelengths. Pluto was still a planet at the time, so there was some discussion about a potential tenth planet at the time, but the concept hadn't really taken off. Rowan Robinson reasoned that it could be helpful to look over the IRAS data once more in search of this planet when talk of a Planet 9 reappeared. Rowan Robinson added, once this planet thing started gaining popularity, he thought that it would be worth looking at the data of Ayers again. Therefore, he made the decision to scour these catalogues for all sources that weren't associated with objects like galaxies or stars. Why does it matter? The direct detection of Planet Nine would mark the first time in more than 200 years that a new planet orbiting the Sun has been discovered, even though its existence has not yet been proven. But up until now, it has been a little difficult to discern. After the publication of the most recent research, Caltech astronomer Mike Brown, the man behind the 2015 Planet Nine model, tweeted that this might not be the planet they thought it was. Brown continues by speculating that this could be a different catch altogether in the search for Planet Nine, but he still gives it the benefit of the doubt. If a planet beyond Neptune is found that contradicts their predictions, they did not forecast it, and it is an utterly unrelated, yet, fascinating, discovery. You might be thinking right now what's next then? When asked if he has any plans for additional Planet Nine observations, Rowan Robinson says that he is nearing the end of his career and has neither researched students nor scheduled telescope time. Evidently, there has been some interest, so he hopes that people are searching through other databases that may have spotted this area. Do you all remember how the definition of a full-sized planet altered as a result of the significant Pluto moment in 2006 when the IAU established new standards? The solar system would have included an additional 20 or so planets if astronomers had changed the criteria in Pluto's favor. That was it for today's topic, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for new content. Till then, take care.